Hello and welcome to another episode of Blaupalooza. I'm Adam and today is Thanksgiving. And I decided that since Thanksgiving was celebrated by all of those pilgrims who sailed across the sea, playing this game called The Caribbean Sail would be a good game to celebrate Thanksgiving. Got a selection of people. There's Adam, Bob, Fred, George, and Blaupalooza. Okay, what are we? Fishermen, carpenters. Must be carpenters. So we don't take as much damage if we get attacked. The main downside is that we won't be able to get as much, well, I usually like to either pick the fisherman or the carpenter because either I get more food or I take less damage from people. Let's see here. Uh, maybe I... No, not here. Is it possible to turn things down? Fortunately, that's the lowest that goes. I'm not sure if I'm louder than it or not. Well, let's just turn off the music for now. Sorry. So let's get plenty of harpoons for food. Stock up on our cannonballs and our cannons. Extra sail if we let's just be safe. And since we still have so much money, uh, there. So have some money left over so we can possibly pick up maybe trade with some other ships out on the sea. Oh wait, the items. Let's see. Fishing bait help attract more food. And what? Food. Food's important. Let's go ahead and buy that. That should give. Let's see. Prevent scurvy. I've never had scurvy while. In my past trips across the ocean. Well, now that we've spent so much time preparing, let us set sail. Set sail. Oh, nope. I don't get to hear my shanty because I did have turned off the music. Well, let's return. Yay! So much nicer. Do, 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 do. Okay. Church mark a reef ahead. Shall we cross it or avoid it? Well, let's take a sound. See how deep the water is. 40 feet. Our ship only submerges into the water about 8 feet. We can cross. Yep. You safely crossed the reef. Do, 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 do. Yep. Blaupalooza got the flu. George has the flu. No, 
Oh look, a ship. Look out spots a ship ahead. You gaze through your spyglass. They're flying English colors. We let's approach. Well, I mean, I haven't used any of our harpoons. I guess we could have. Then we can get a bit more food. Like that. Cabin. Oh. Can either play dice with the captain or just talk. We've been at sea nearly four weeks. We're returning to London. That's nice. Play dice. Nope. I only have five dollars. see. Does there anything? Nope. That's all they have. Well. Off we go. You found a float uh, float some retrieved a Spanish flag. Huh. Fred has typhus. Typhoid fever? Flag is a good looking flag condition. But I've already ran into a fleet of English ships. I'm not sure if that, those would be pirates or not. Should I attack them? Sure. Let's see, how much damage have I taken so far? Five? Maybe? It's kind of unfortunate. Blow pose as well again. I'm surprised I haven't. Aw, oh, dang it. Blapalooza's leg was broken during battle. If you amputate it, they might die. And if you don't amputate it, slow death is certain from infection. Amputate it? Sure. Leg was amputated. Well, he didn't die, but he only has one leg now. And Bob has the flu. Ooh. Almost got struck by lightning. I mean, I have lots of food for some reason. That's the crew. Good influences, typhus influences, abysmal, so they're very sick. Okay. I'm kind of confused because usually when I am sailing, it's like the food usually goes down by 50s. Yeah, it is going down by 50. Dang it, I'm no good at fighting. <laughs> Look out, spot. 
spots a ship ahead, gaze through it, a black flag, well... Okay, we got 115 kilograms of food and 204 dollars. Along with their banner. What does this one say? Here is where Blau Palooza sink. Better luck next time. Well, Blau Palooza has dysentery. Bob is well again. Yay, Bob! Now the question is, is everybody gonna make it across? George is well again. Because Blau Palooza has poor health. Should I increase with the food? Right. I mean, we're halfway there, so might as well. George has dysentery. Oh, poor George. It, or you could sail miles out of the way. Well, let's see how deep it is. It's 18 miles long, 25 feet deep. I'd say it's a 50 50. Let's go ahead and try. So far it looks like it's fine. Like the yep. It's usually if I can see if it I'll take damage because the debris and rocks are close to the surface, but this instance there is no rocks and debris close to the surface, so oh. I better set the anchor. And do some fishing. Use. 
There's the tightening nut. What was that? Okay, well. Let's keep going. Bob has dysentery. But we've got 495 food. Okay. Do -do. Will we make it? I do not know. Bob was as well again. Yay! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Yeah! Looks like one more reef to go across. It's 23 miles long. Whoops. <laughs> I forgot to check how deep it is. Crossing our fingers that we make it. Looks like we're gonna make it. And that was lucky. <laughs> Yay! I made it. What? Anchor. Might as well use the net until we lose it. Oh. Yay. Oh. I guess the thing that I didn't recognize was a turtle. Casting the net. Oh. Yay. Okay, I think that should be good. George as well again. Oh, there's the end. I might as well just cast the net until it decides to tell me your, that my net was taken away from me or something like that. Or until I and maxed out on food. Oh, a blue marlin cut your net apart. Uh, what am I supposed to do with these? Cross of Burgundy allied with the French and fighting the English. Oh. So in other words, at this time, I'm at war against France and Spain. Okay. And this way, <laughs> I make everybody my enemy, huh? Funny. Okay. Well, time to make our way to the end. Yay, we made it. We reached Nassau and this pronounced Nassau, right? I think so. In 22 days. True. Our route didn't take us to where the pilgrims were going of Plymouth Rock, but this is as close of an experience to what the pilgrims went through as any. And I've unlocked everything. Well, that was fun. I guess I'll see you all next time on Blaupalooza. Y'all have a good day. Bye.